He here killed himself tonight during a live catch before cops showed up. He admitted to viewing as low as infants. I saw that headline just a little bit ago before going live. I didn't know what that was about, but I did see that. It reminds me of that uh, To Catch a Predator episode that didn't air, but they were investigating, I think it was a government guy. And as they were moving in, he blew his fucking brains out in the hotel room. And then, oh, what was fucking badass though, Chris Hansen, when he was asked about it, because I think that's why uh, To Catch a Predator wasn't, uh, or was taken off the air. Hey, I could be misremembering too, I don't remember if it was a hotel room. But regardless, some high-ranking, powerful person was being investi investigated by Chris Hansen. The team shot themselves. Fucking pink misted their brains. And Chris Hansen was asked about it like a long time ago, probably like four or five years now. Asked about how he feels about it, and he's like, well, I don't lose sleep over it. <laughs> so yeah, you know, yeah, no, that, that happened. You know, I don't lose sleep over it. Yeah, this one, this one. Three years ago, I thought it was longer. Thanks, bro. So the show started in 2004. Mm -hmm. And there were this is 12 kind of setting the stage across the US. But then in 2008, there was a, a show with a guy named Lewis Conrad, mm -hmm. uh, an assistant district attorney. Correct. Uh, in Texas. Oh, the, wow. Tell me about that. That's even higher ranking than I remember. We had done this investigation in Texas. And about the second night into it, a guy had These surfaced five gifted members, chatting so. with a 13-year-old boy. Here, hold on. He I'll did, skip to where they talk about this part, the last part. He has a handgun in the house, and as the police are moving in, he takes the handgun and shoots himself in the head. Sadly, it was a house, not a hotel. Suicide. What Mr. was found out later was on his laptop were at least 10 images of child pornography for which he knew as a district attorney, assistant district attorney, he would face in Texas 10 years in prison per image. Mm. And while you don't want to see anything like that happen to a guy, suicide, um, you could pretty much clearly assume that he didn't want to face the music on that and chose to take his own life. How did you feel when you found out that he died? It was, you know, a difficult moment for everybody involved. You don't want to see somebody do that. I don't feel responsible for it. I sleep well at night <laughs> and did. In fact, we completely reported on it the next morning. You know, the, the, obviously the press... You can tell he didn't even want to put in the first part about, like, oh, it was difficult. He, was, he kind of just wanted to be like, yeah, no, no I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Which is... Isn't that so interesting? So... A blows his brains out with images of children on their computer, and then sues the people that caught him, and wins. A little weird. That's a little, that's a little fishy. You see 16 terabytes trending on Twitter because of the Cartoon Network cartoonist who got arrested. Oh, people are talking more about Kyle Carosa finally? I don't know why I'm saying finally, it hasn't been that long. Yeah, we talked about that like a week ago-ish. That's more than the MCU, MCU movies in HD combined. Oh, the 16 terabytes? Yeah. I actually don't think the 16 terabytes was known at the time, because that is an astonishingly large amount. What, where is? Where are you seeing 16 terabytes? I keep seeing 600 images, but 600 images wouldn't come out to 16 terabytes. Yeah, that's not true. So that stemmed from a random Twitter post. Yeah, so the only source on the 16 terabytes is a single tweet. All of the official reports on the arrest is 600 images. Regardless, though, dude's an absolute fucking monster. But yeah, 16 terabytes is not real. This is the actual amount here. Not that it changes anything. Dude still needs to be behind bars for the rest of his fucking life. How much did Jared have? Oh, now Jared's very different. Jared Fogel, he had a terabyte. I think it was a terabyte, or it might have been even more. But Jared Fogel also contributed to the production of and i always mention this but jared vogel is actually going to be released from jail pretty soon it's fucking crazy because yeah, he got a 15 year sentence so the 15 years will end in 2030. no he had 5.6 terabytes and was producing porn himself and somehow only got 15 years in jail there are people that are in jail longer for minor marijuana offenses. Isn't that fucking crazy? 
bro should have been executed. I don't know how he got off with a 15 year sentence for that. He probably gave up some of his creep circle. I mean, I guess that's super possible. It's been a long time since I actually went through his case. So, like, maybe he gave up some of, like, the buyers of the content or something. I'd fuck if I know. But it's still crazy. I'd still, like, you still shouldn't get a reduced sentence like that for those kind of charges. Was Jared ever remotely associated with Epstein? I don't think so. I don't know if his name was ever on the flight logs or anything. I don't think Jared was, like, powerful enough to make it on the Epstein flights. Oh, no, Kyle Carrozza worked on a lot of shows. Like, he did some boards for Adventure Time. His series was the Mighty Magiswords. That was, like, his show. But he did work on everything. Literally everything. He was deeply tied in the animation world. Yeah, it, like I said, Jared Fogle, he'll be out in 2030 somehow, even for that shit. No, this, this happened like a week ago, the story broke, but I guess on Twitter today someone uh, spread a story that he had 16 terabytes of So everyone like was fucking shocked at that amount. 16 terabytes? To put that in perspective, you'd have like a goddamn Bitcoin mining operation for less terabytes of storage. Though actually, that's a stupid example, because for fucking mining crypto, you'd be using GPUs. Point is, you would, you'd you actually have multiple external hard drives that you'd be fucking plugged into for that. Like, it's, it's an absurd amount. So that was fake. That, that number's not real. But it's still a lot. Wasn't there someone in Hollywood that a bunch of actors, actors tried to vouch for after it was discovered they were a pedo? Roman Polanski. You're thinking of Roman Polanski. Oh, unless you're, th if, unless you're thinking even more recently with, um... The the guy who preyed upon Drake Bell. God, fuck, what was that guy's name? Now I can't remember it. Brian Peck. Thank you, yeah, Brian Peck. Roman Polanski's victim still takes selfies with him. Says it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, I heard. I have heard that. Which is really fucking sad. 